So today I was scrolling Instagram and I saw a post from Parker Walbeck, a full-time filmmaker, who said that he had edited an entire video inside of DaVinci Resolve. And if you know anything about full-time filmmaker Parker Walbeck, he has been an avid Adobe Premiere user basically ever since he started the full-time filmmaker course. Now, this isn't a conversation to drum up drama or to talk about which one is better or anything like that, but I did want to have a conversation about my top five favorite features inside of DaVinci Resolve and why I personally switched from Adobe Premiere to DaVinci Resolve. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. So feature number one, which might be very, very obvious, but I'm gonna mention it anyway, and that is crashes and stability. Now hear me out, DaVinci Resolve still has its problems and it still has crashes and stuff, especially recently with the release of DaVinci Resolve 18. Being plugged into the filmmaker community, I see lots of fellow creators who are complaining about Adobe Premiere and about how it's constantly crashing and giving them problems. And they're switching to Resolve because even though Resolve isn't perfect, it does seem to be more stable at this time. Reason number two to switch from Adobe Premiere to DaVinci Resolve is definitely the color tab and color tools. Now, this is an enormous can of worms that I'm not gonna open up today. I've made lots of videos on this channel discussing the features and advanced techniques when it comes to color grading and how simple DaVinci Resolve makes excellent color. Now, there is a learning curve. It's not quite as easy as just saturation, contrast, you know, exposure, that sort of thing. Having to learn the color wheels and the different tools inside the color tab can be a bit daunting at first, but once you get to know DaVinci Resolve and how incredibly powerful their color tools are, then you'll never go back to Adobe Premiere's system. So Adobe Premiere definitely has some catching up to do there. Reason number three that you should switch from Adobe Premiere to DaVinci Resolve, and that is cost. With Adobe, it is a subscription-based service, and their pricing does vary occasionally, but generally speaking, it's a monthly cost of between 20 to 40, 50, even more dollars per month to be able to use their suite of software. Now, to be fair, they are still the leader, in my opinion, when it comes to Photoshop, uh, but their photography plan is particularly affordable. And I personally love Blackmagic's approach, which is a one-time payment of $300 for the studio version of DaVinci Resolve. And I believe that is good for several updates. I purchased DaVinci Resolve 16, and I have gotten DaVinci Resolve 17, and I'm part of the DaVinci Resolve 18 beta without having to purchase another studio license. So, so far, that's actually saved me money in the long run, considering that I would have spent much more than $300 over the span of even just two years, paying a monthly fee of 20, 30, or even $40 for whatever Adobe suite I would have been roped into at the time. Which brings me nicely into reason number four to switch to DaVinci Resolve. At the time of making this video, the free version of DaVinci Resolve is fully functional up to editing in 4K, 8-bit uh, video, and almost no limitations when it comes to just raw filmmaking capabilities. If you're tight on cash and you can't afford the studio version or you're sick of paying Adobe monthly for their software, you can go to DaVinci Resolve's website right now and you can download the free version of DaVinci Resolve and use it as much as you like for any reason without any watermarks or restrictions other than a few of the premium features and the editing of 10-bit footage, which doesn't apply to a lot of people at this time. Reason number five that you should switch to DaVinci Resolve is its growing popularity. So that has several benefits. Number one is that there's going to be a larger community for you to draw from when needing help with learning DaVinci Resolve or finding resources for editing. And with growing popularity, that means that they're going to continue to innovate and create features for DaVinci Resolve to fit a wider audience. For example, device compatibility. Um, I think DaVinci Resolve has been steadily releasing updates for Apple's M1 chips, for example. And so it's going to be a great community to get started in while it's hot. And so you can get in early before it gets oversaturated. So tell me what you think. Uh, what program are you using before you switched to DaVinci Resolve? Let me know down in the comments below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. So thanks again for watching this video. I appreciate your time and I will see you in the next one.